I don't know if you noticed this, but we're aging. Is there something on me? <laughs> no, we're aging. And our parents are aging, Paul. Yeah. And sometimes you need to make decisions. There's an organization in Indiana that kind of uh, keeps track of all the options that you may have or your parents uh, may have. The Indiana Assisted Living Association. If you've got questions about uh, where to go, what to do, uh, they've got a little bit of something for everybody. When does the happy hour start? <laughs> yeah, like that, that too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. All right. Hi, I'm Lou Stoops and I'm with Liz Carroll, the Executive Director of the Indiana Assisted Living Association, and we're at Woodland Terrace, a very beautiful place. Liz, would you share with the Boomer audience a little bit about some of the things that are different today in the uh, area of assisted living and what it's about? Well, I think a lot of people have an idea that assisted living is sort of nursing home light. Mm -hmm. You know, it's for people who are going to be moving into a nursing home very soon. And that's not the case anymore. As boomers think about what they want and what their parents want, they don't want nursing home light. They want a place with amenities. They want a place with fine dining. They want fitness classes. They, they want beautifully decorated common areas. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's one of the things that Woodland Terrace really represents, and that's one of the reasons that I thought this would be a good place to come visit. For those people who might not really have a, a clear handle on what it means uh, to be uh, considering uh, assisted living or going into assisted living, can you give us kind of a, 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 just a simple version of that? Well, it really means, it can mean anything from assistance with you get your meals, mm -hmm. you have some laundry, some housekeeping, maybe transportation to your doctor's appointments, all the way up to medication administration. So I think if you're considering assisted living, um, call the community, ask what they provide, have kind of a list of what you need and what you think you might need, and then go visit. Visiting is hugely important. Okay. and usually they will give you lunch. Now when you're thinking about assisted living, uh, how do you broach that subject with someone that may well have that need but may not at this time realize they have that need? It doesn't always go well, mm -hmm. those conversations, but I think you have to keep trying. And I think there are some resources out there to help you have the conversation, but also to think about the cost of assisted living, mm -hmm. Um, we've got a calculator on our website, for example, that we try and set out what the different expenses are that you have currently and the expenses you might have in an assisted living community. Mm -hmm. uh, people are concerned about the expense, but when you line it up, it's not as expensive as you think. And then if you can add in what your children are providing to you, in terms of uncompensated care and support mm -hmm. and you know sometimes the calculus does weigh in favor of an assisted living mm -hmm. or in an independent living community. Any other things as far as uh, what they can do is uh, if they're considering assisted living or want to know more about it. I know you're you have a website that provides we resources. Can you kind of give us a little bit of a picture of the specifics of that? Um, we have a lot of articles that I think are helpful. We talk about pets and how to find a pet-friendly community. You know, we talk about some of the, the aspects of assisted living that people don't think about, maybe, like the socialization. Yes. And we're sitting in a lovely bar and this community has a couple of restaurants and different classes and clubs and I think it's so important to socialize as you get older and not to remain just housebound which unfortunately many many seniors are and their boomer children are quite concerned about that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, if you're interested in information about assisted living and all that's entailed in that very uh, important and vast subject, you can go to the Indiana Assisted Living Association's website and check it out. This has been Lou Stoops with Boomer TV.